All right, we were talking a little bit about the carbon tax and a reversal by the Prime Minister on Thursday over some elements of it, a freeze on the home heating element of it, some rural rebates coming in. Uh, the Conservative leader, Pierre Polyev, was quick to go on the attack, saying this is just an example of Justin Trudeau being in a case of political panic right now because of what's happening in the polls. And the carbon tax is not popular. Justin Trudeau is starting to realize that, and so there's some tweaking that's going on uh, right now. All right, let's bring in, if we can, our panelists who are standing by uh, to weigh in on this, our MPs, to give us their take on where things stand, starting off with Andrew Scheer, who is Conservative MP from the riding of Capel. All right, we'll see if we can get to that, but let's bring in our pollster, Nick Nanos, first. He's the chief data scientist and founder of Nanos Research. And Nick, kick things off for us. How bad are the numbers for the Prime Minister and the Liberals right now? Ugly, Todd, very ugly. You know, the thing is, is when it comes to not just who Canadians would prefer as prime minister, but also the ballot numbers, we haven't seen numbers this bad for the Liberals since, you know, since Stephen Harper was prime minister when they were in, almost in third place. You know, for for Justin Trudeau on the preferred prime minister tracking, you know, he he's trailing Pierre Poiliev by double digits. And his numbers have not been this negative or this weak since before 2015, when he was a newly minted leader of the Liberal Party. And for the Liberal Party of Canada, they have not trailed the Conservatives to this extent since uh, since since before 2015. So we're into territory where the Liberals were when they were second slash fighting for third uh, in uh, in preferences for Canadians. Hey, Nick, you know, the Conservatives, uh, you know, based on your polling, 15, 16 points ahead right now, they're trying to make the carbon tax a big issue, cost of living issue. Up till now, Justin Trudeau has refused to budge on the issue despite pressure. What do you think changed here? Ugly, Todd, very ugly. You know, the thing is, is when it comes to not just who Canadians would prefer as prime minister, but also the ballot numbers, we haven't seen numbers this bad for the Liberals since you know, since Stephen Harper was prime minister when they were in, almost in third place, you know, for for Justin Trudeau on the preferred prime minister tracking, you know, he he's trailing Pierre Poiliev by double digits and his numbers have not been this negative or this weak since before 2015 when he was a newly minted leader of the Liberal Party. And for the Liberal Party of Canada, they have not trailed the Conservatives to this extent since uh, since since before 2015. So we're into territory where the Liberals were when they were second slash fighting for third uh, in, uh, in preferences for Canadians. Hey, Nick, the fact that he had many members of his Atlantic caucus with him on Thursday in Ottawa to make the announcement, does that suggest panic to you? <laughs> Well, they're probably trying to not look like a panic, but, you know, the thing is, is I'm sure there are a lot of members in Atlantic Canada, Liberal caucus members in Atlantic Canada and in other parts of the country uh, that are getting an earful uh, because people are struggling to pay for the groceries. They're struggling to pay for the rent or the mortgage. And then they see something like this, which increases the cost on uh, carbon fuels. And I think the toothpaste is out of the tube. You know, now that they've kind of budged on this, you know, what are they what are they going to do for Canadians in other parts of the country on uh, heating fuel? Are they going to look at other things? And I think for the Liberals, they have to worry about, you know, the perception that they're backtracking or flip flopping in order to save their political skin. Mm. OK, what about Canadians reacting to Pierre Polyev, the conservative leader? Nick, what do you think? Are they warming up to him? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's warming up, but, you know, he's not competing against perfection. He's competing against Justin Trudeau. And, you know, right now, you know, think of. Think of all the controversies that Trudeau has had to deal with over the course of him being prime minister. And, you know, the latest stuff related to, you know, the unfortunate circumstances of recognition of the Ukrainian war veteran. And even though that wasn't his fault, he's been talking about it or has talked about it and he's starting to own it. And I think for a lot of Canadians, uh, when they're just struggling to pay the bills, they want to see action. And you know what? If you can't pay for the rent, what do you have to lose? And I think for a lot of Canadians, that's what they're thinking. Even though they might not have a warm embrace of Pierre Poiliev, they're probably open to trying something different.